Okay, so I've been living here for about, I think it's 22 years, 23 years. I was three years old when I moved here. It's like freedom. Living here is just, it's just beautiful. Everything was inspired by nature. Like I usually just go up to like Fairyland or whatever, go take a walk on the escarpment and just take my guitar up and I'll just start playing a song, like just make up the song. And then just like, yeah, it happens. <laughs> and then I keep that when I go on stage. I just like, feel like I'm not even there. I just, I feel like I'm back where I was when I learned the song, which is usually like in a natural place. So it's quite cool. <laughs> Of the wicked And how can you just sit there and say you don't know and um, I've always had like a fascination for drums and then when I was about 15 I, I saved for a drum kit it took me a year to save <laughs> but I eventually got it I lived on a game farm and that I think that helped a lot for music um, we were the only house in the middle of this game farm. Yeah, I didn't really have much else to do because I was homeschooled, so I just sat at home and like, beat the drums. <laughs> it was really cool. We had a big love for metal from when I was like 13. I started listening to it. Um, a lot to do with my siblings' influence because <laughs> yeah, they just helped me understand it more, especially because I liked drums from a young age, with just the sound of them. I think that is a big part of why I like metal. I moved to Joburg when I was 18 for two or three years. I started my metal band, Zoom Zero. I still didn't know I could sing or play guitar or anything. And it was maybe about three years ago then I started playing a bit on guitar, just like teaching myself or whatever and then Eventually, I just like started singing over it, and then people like they never said it was bad. <laughs> so then I like realized, okay, well I guess I can kind of sing. <laughs> and then yeah, then after that I also started playing didgeridoo, and then I kind of incorporated all now. I like to send a message when I when I play my solo stuff in my lyrics. My new songs that I did, it's like pretty much just telling people to like clean up after themselves, like clean up the earth and like but it's like it's not really in just like a happy kind of way, it's also a little bit aggressive. So it's like tuning them like, guys, come on, just wake up, you know. <laughs> Got such a beautiful planet and we just people just destroy it. I started Freeform in 2009. One of the reasons I started was because I wanted my metal band to come here and like because my parents were supportive over what I did but they didn't really know what it sounded like because they never got a chance to come to Joburg. So like I wanted to start it off just so that my metal band could come through. <laughs> in the town, the youth in the town and stuff to like actually get this experience to like hear some some bands. I drink deep beer, so what from you? I drink deep beer, so what from you? What will it take to
yeah, I, like, I decided I started getting more into also playing acoustic guitar and meeting a lot more people that do different genres of music. So then I was like, okay, cool. Well, let's incorporate this all. The, the point of the festival is to get that exposure out and to, to encourage original music and duck, you know, just free form kind of stuff. In the city, I don't like it. You wake up and there's like walls and walls and walls and it's like cars and traffic and yeah, it's just like... You know, you can always get away from everything and you can just relax and, I don't know, there's a lot of music. I feel like the mountains send music. <laughs> <laughs>